Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Tamim. Today we'll be installing a reverse camera on the SL55. Stay tuned. Kicking things off, I found this camera on AliExpress for about $15. Now the idea of this video is to show you how to install the camera, not the exact camera itself. We'll be going over how to wire it because as you see the trunk of the SL55 is a little bit of a transformer so you would have to wire things a little bit or in and around the whole car now moving into the interior this will only work if you have an aftermarket head unit i bought mine on sicane it's an android 9.0 head unit able to wire this camera successfully you would have to rip out most of the interior now at the time of doing this we were trying to replace the gas tank due to a baffle that came loose now the only parts that you would have to remove from the interior is primarily the passenger side of the vehicle or the driver side of the vehicle depending on what side you want to mount the camera. We chose to do it on the passenger side of the vehicle. Now that brought up a challenge of where do we find a hole, a natural hole that the car has that we can poke this wire through. And knowing that the car has a ton of hydraulic lines we figured that you know there was bound to be one hole. We used a light to try to find a natural hole in the cabin and we ended up finding one. We ended up using a sort of claw, a flexible claw that we had around the shop and able to grab one end of the wire and pull it and bring it out into the cabin through that hole. We were able to do it successfully. It was pretty easy as long as you can grab that wire. It's really tight in there and it's really hard to see but with a little bit of time, you'll be able to grab it and pull it straight out. Now the cable that the camera came with wasn't long enough to reach the actual end point that we were aiming for. We ended up having to use additional wires, so we ended up soldering two wires together to connect it and make it long enough for the cable to reach the end of the trunk. So we're wiring one color to another color? We're just extending if you have the same wire, it's fine, but you don't have the same color, so you can use this. Okay, so we're going to extend it. Just extend it. Mm -hmm. After expanding the wire's length, we ended up having to wire it through using the normal hydraulic lines and the normal wiring lines that the trunk has in the car. And we just followed this, the wires and we zip tied it together with the bundle of wires too to make sure that if it flexes or anything like that, it would be in a safe spot like those other wires. where. No, 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 not yet.
otherwise has to be flat. So as you can see here, we are trying to drill a hole for the camera to fit through into this part right here. Yes, I am filming with an iPhone. I film all my videos with an iPhone. So over here, we are able to put the camera in correctly. However, it doesn't sit correctly. Um, we ended up having to put a nut and able to have the camera sit snug right there. And you can see we're trying to tighten the nut in this part of the video. We end up tightening it. Everything ends up sitting pretty nice and snug. We end up using a glue, a sort of glue that doesn't really harden, but it stays a little rubbery in the back. And you can adjust the camera here and there, but sometimes it gets a little out of uh, sync. So I would say when you are done installing it before you were to put glue in, make sure you go in the car, turn it back on and double check and see if the camera is sitting per perfectly and then use the glue to have the camera sit permanently at an angle that will aim straight behind the vehicle. What you gotta do is you have to unbolt, unbolt these two screws. Lift this up, run the wire from under here, through here, and then shove it in between here, just lift it up and it slides right in. Get it out right, get it out right here. Now then from here, run the wire, run the wire in here. Get it out. Get it out. Now once it's in there, just gently try to wiggle it through and around these spots. Here's what I'm doing. I know that nothing is going to go through there and then out and plug it in to here. After connecting the two, now we will be connecting the 12 volt lines together. Just simply remove the excess wire cover and then combine the two wires just like so. Once those both are connected and you put the cover on, the screen will automatically turn on once the car is in reverse and it will show that the car is, there you go, on. And once that's in, I'm gonna lower the trunk. That's it for the video. Just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. If you guys like the video and want to see more, please subscribe. Till next time, thanks.